Hey, it's Ernie at Renaissance Firearms. We are really excited. We have been looking at CZ products and selling CZ products on a limited basis for the past 10 or 15 years, but we've always had to buy them through distribution. CZ does have a direct program, but for the last several years, they have not taken on direct dealers, mainly because they're a fairly small company. They really can't keep up with their production demand. But we finally convinced our rep to write up an order, see if it's stuck, throw it against the wall, and it did. We put in a 50 gun order, CZ accepted us. We are now the newest CZ dealer in the country. And as far as we know, the only CZ dealer that they've taken on in the past few months. So we're really excited about that. Um, we'll be able to carry all of the CZ products. May not be able to get them as quick as we'd like, although we will get them quicker than we used to through distribution. So if you're looking for a CZ product, come in and see us, we'll quote it. We can call the factory, get a lead time and talk to you about it. We're gonna go over the whole line of products that they have. We don't have everything in stock. Like I say, we placed the 50 gun order, maybe 25 SKUs. They shipped maybe 10, 15 yesterday. Yep. So we got a good chunk in. Greg's gonna talk about the pistols. They're kind of the backbone of the company. And he'll talk about a little bit of the history and some of the features of them. And I'll take it back and talk about some of the other stuff. So I'm Greg, I'm a sales manager here. I'm a big CZ guy. I've gotten all about one or two of my coworkers to start carrying them. I'm carrying one now. I'm a huge fan. This is the CZ kind of flagship model, the 75B. This that came out in the year 1975. All of these tend to be double single action. It's kind of their signature. Some of them will either have a decocker like this one does or a safety option. So you have the option of converting it to single action only, which is pretty cool. It comes in that size. This is the Omega series, tactical setup, suppressor height sights, threaded barrel. And you also have a 75 compact. So this is for a more concealed carry, anything that you want to you know, keep on yourself. Still a double stack though, right? It oh, is. Yeah. So yes, it's a high cap gun. It is still a 15 round magazine, which is really cool. So I think like Glock 19, but a little more classic, a little more, you know, steel frame gun. You have an external hammer. It's a different action than you're going to find out of a lot of other stuff nowadays. And you can go for the full size tactical models like the SP-01. Awesome, awesome shooting gun. Super low on recoil. And what's really cool with this line is you'll notice how streamlined the slide is. The frame actually wraps around the slide, which lowers my bore axis down to the center of my hand. That makes recoil super easy to manage. Yeah, these are phenomenal guns. And they also recently bought out Dan Wesson, so. And it's not just a gimmick about the recoil. When you yeah. shoot these guns, and if you go to our other YouTube videos, we did the Shadow 2. Yep. That is probably the nicest semi-auto I think I've ever shot. I mean, that gun, it feels like you're shooting a 22. The triggers are just phenomenal. I don't know how it's so light. Yeah. Beautiful gun. Like uh, Greg said, they bought Dan Weston a few years ago, well, digressed from CZ. Um, Dan Weston's company been around. They started making revolvers back in the 60s. They were well known for their pistol pack. Their revolvers that you can change barrels. We have one of the packs here. It's a 357, comes with three other three barrels total. Real easy to change out. You have a four inch, six inch, or eight inch. They also make a great line of 1911s. These guns are just incredibly built. So tight, really, really well built. Um, it's like a custom gun, but at a production gun price. I mean, it's just phenomenal quality that you'll see here. We really love these guns. One of the nicest things I like about CZ when they bought Dan Wesson is they kind of just left them alone and said, go make great guns. They didn't try and re-engineer it. They didn't try and cheapen it down, dumb it down, and try and just take everything they could out profit-wise, but they made it. They put the support they needed for marketing and distribution, but gave them the freedom to make a good quality gun. Moving on with CZ, they make a great line of shotguns. These are made overseas, but they're very, very well priced. They're in the $600, $700 range. Great stuff. Um, they also make a really cool hammer coach, which would make a good home defense gun. Um, 12 gauge, 20 inch exposed hammers. Um, color case hardened, even color case hardened on the butt plate. I mean, it's a really, really sharp looking gun. And then they also make a great rifle. Um, these rifles are known throughout the world. I've been to Africa a couple times. You see these on the subcontinent down there. People will be shooting these for big game. Um, in Africa, re reliability is everything. Um, they are stone cold reliable, especially in their big bore calibers, 375, 500, 458. And they're also extremely accurate. Um, they have their five tw uh, 427 series, which are their 22s or rim fires. We have a training rifle, the American rifle. Um, we have a 17 heavy stock, uh, heavy barrel varmint gun. And then the next series up is their 527 American series. This is probably my favorite gun. I have one of these in 22 Hornet. Um, they have a 
five shot detachable mag. Um, we have a small, what they call it the mini Mauser action. It's a short Mauser control round feed. It also has a single set trigger push forward. And then you've got like a, maybe a six, eight ounce pole. That is adjustable. It's also adjustable for over travel. Fantastic little guns. Like I say, one of my favorite guns. I've got a YouTube video on the 22 Hornet of mine. That is an amazingly accurate rifle. They also make larger center fire guns. We just don't have any of those in yet. But be checking it out. We're going to get more of their guns in. We have a lot more of their handguns, especially their polymer frame guns, yep. which Greg is a big fan of as well. That's sort of a, I think it's one of the nicest guns out there. We'll do a video on that when we get those in. So come in and check it out. And if you have any questions, just ask Greg. And he knows everything about it. And I know a good bit about it. So we're glad to help you out and check you out when you get here.